Good afternoon, everyone. Please sit down. Welcome to the White House. We have a second lady here with us and vice president. Thank you for being here today. You and your team are de dedicated to helping our military families and continue to do a great work. Thank you very much. Every day should be a celebration of mothers. As a mother myself, I can relate to all that it takes to raise a child. Motherhood is a blessing in its rawest form. It is joyous and delightful, and at times it is challenging and worrisome. But the love between a mother and child strengthens us, helps us grow, and provides a deeper meaning to all of our lives. When I became First Lady of the United States, I knew it was a real opportunity to raise awareness about the issue I care so much about, the well-being of children. Earlier this week, I celebrated the anniversary of Be Best, my initiative meant to encourage children to be best in their individual paths in life. Over the past year, I have talked with parents, students, and teachers at schools. I have visited doctors, nurses, and patients at hospitals and care facilities talked with industry leaders of large and small companies, and I have been the amazing work that results from people who care. Leadership is among one of the most valuable traits we can teach our children, and I can thank, think of no better place where this is cultivated than our military. I've had the great privilege of meeting many members of our military. In March, the second lady and I visited Fort Bragg and had the opportunity to see the incredible capabilities of some of our military personnel. This administration supports our armed forces 100%, and that includes taking care of the families that sacrifice greatly so their loved ones can serve our country. It is an honor, it is an honor to have each of you join us today. The President and I are grateful to you and your families for all that you're doing for our great nation. Because of the sacrifices made by your sons, daughters, husbands, and wives, we as a country enjoy the freedom and security of raising our children in the great country, the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. Thank you again for being here, and I hope you enjoy the United States Army course. Everyone in this room deserves to be celebrated. God bless you and your families. God bless the United States of America, and happy Mother's Day. And with that, it is my honor to ask the President to say a few words. Great job, thank you very much. And thank you for being here. And Melania, you did a beautiful job in organizing this incredible celebration of America's military mothers. That's good, I had a great mother, Mary. I love my mother, I miss my mother. Military moms are the backbone of America. I know it is still two days away, but I wish everybody right now a very happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. We're especially pleased to be joined by our great Vice President, Mike Pence. Mike, stand up, Mike. Stand up, Mike. Doing a great job. And our wonderful Second Lady, Karen Pence. Karen, thank you. And by the way, they're a proud military family and tremendous advocates for our warriors and their loved ones. Thank you both very much for being here. This afternoon, I want to express our incredible appreciation to all of you, the moms serving our nation in uniform, the mothers of our great heroes, and the moms with spouses who serve in the armed forces. Your unwavering dedication and support strengthens our entire nation. 
Today we honor you, we celebrate you, we salute you, and everything that you do, so many things, so many great things for our country. To the active duty moms here today, we thank you for your courage and we applaud your noble service. You have two of the most important jobs in the world, bravely defending America from our enemies and helping to raise the next generation of American patriots. You have spent Mother's Days and you know, come on, let's go. Let's go. You've spent Mother's Days on ships out at sea, on bases in faraway lands, and staring down foreign threats in very, very dangerous areas. And you've done it all out of love for family, for country, and for duty. Our nation is forever in your debt. Thank you very much. Great job. Great job. Thank you. We're also honored to be joined today by the moms whose spouses are serving in the military. We know that you also make that tremendous sacrifice for your country, so much so they would never be as successful without you, I have to tell you. And most of them know that. Most of them. I'm not sure all of them know that, but most of them know that, right? When you married an American warrior, which is exactly what they are, you became part of an elite group of heroes. As military spouses, you help carry your families through frequent moves and long deployments. You uplift your communities, care for your fellow military families, and sustain our service members through their most difficult battles. You know that one of the great challenges of military spouses is to find a meaningful job as you move in support of your active duty spouse. That's why one year ago I took action to increase employment opportunities, as you probably know. I hope you're all taking advantage of it. I'm sure you are, for military spouses all across our nation. Incredible people, thank you. <laughs> Who said that? Stand up, I want to say. Who said that? Thank you. We want military spouses to be able to pursue their careers and help their families thrive. Finally, to the moms in this room who raised children that grew up to join the United States Armed Forces, you have given our country a gift beyond measure. You raised your children to live by the sacred values of loyalty, bravery, patriotism, and service. The greatest honor of my life is serving as your Commander-in-Chief. This extraordinary group of men and women, and there's nobody like you on the face of the earth. The heroes of the American Armed Forces are more courageous, selfless, and fearless than any fighting force in all of human history. So true. And Mike and I have worked very, very long and hard. Our military is now regaining strength like it's never had before. We had budgets of $700 billion, far, far more than ever before. And this year, $716 billion, and I know we're going for $750 billion. And we had a very depleted military. You know it better than I did, and now it's rare and it's just something special. Hopefully, we don't have to use it. They're going to look at it, and they're going to say, we don't want to mess with them, right? <laughs> we don't want to mess with them. So our military is in great shape, and I think it's something you know, but I want you to know it just in case you had any questions. Anybody have any questions? It really is. Thank you. And I just have to say that our nation is eternally grateful to our military mothers. Your love and devotion and sacrifice keeps America safe, strong, proud, and free. Today and every day, we thank God for our military moms. You have always been there for us, and my administration will always be there for you, and you know that. You know that. So I just want to finish by saying to let me once again wish everyone in this room a very, very happy Mother's Day. You are very special people. I don't even know if you know how special you are. You work so hard. Sometimes you don't realize it.
You are very, very special people. And I want to just say God bless you and God bless our great country. God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.